forward. Once again, we do have a uh, Kosselix with that Scarlet, and we have Bagus with the Magyar. Uh, let us go check it out real quick. Let's see how game one goes, shall we, chat? Let's go. That great sword skin is just so beautiful. It's gorgeous. That's it. That's what I want to say. <laughs> I guess so, but one thing we got to bring up is it's going to be very hard to knock off that ceiling. Demon Island has the biggest ceiling out of all the competitive platform maps. Um, so when going into this, uh, it's going to be difficult for someone like Kostler or Bagus to knock off with a hammer off that ceiling. And that might even affect Kostler some more because of that, that lance with their signature sets, but they can also knock off the sides in the, in the bottom part of the map. So it might be easier for either one of them. It depends, but that is not going to be a liable option compared to a side air, knocking them off the side or knocking them off the bottom. Bagus with the lovely great sword ground pound. Costas just knocked out of that first stock and Bagus has the lead in this set so far. A very fast lead, just about 35 to 40 seconds in. Kostelix is already touching down on that second stock in Bagus with how high, um, oh, maybe I might be speaking a little bit too early. I was just about to talk about uh, Magyar's defense, but Kostelix is just chewing through that defense with some good hammer hits. Hammer also a very hard-hitting weapon, and Scarlet also with some very hard-hitting sigs. So Kostelix is actually really stepping up his game since the first stock. Maybe, this is what we talked about earlier, that maybe Kostelix just needs to kind of overcome the element of surprise that Bagus has, but Bagus surprising us with a very gracious greatsword combo, unfortunately, has to get stomped down that second stock, but some of the extra credit has already been done. It might not be enough to make up for a missing assignment, but it's still some extra points on your final grade right there. As you can see, the damage really starting to build up on Kostelix as the damage is just starting on Bagus, but it's starting quickly with how much momentum you can give Lance, and especially Kostelix as a player. This could be devastating, but Bagus really looking to play his cards right, making sure that he's able to last a little bit longer. That Sig, there we go, those Scarlet Sigs coming into play. Very powerful force uh, Sigs, but also the end light is going to be some pretty powerful force. The weapon throw, and also Kosselix. Kosselix using this to his full advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, Kosselix is using that lance. He's going to make sure that Bagus is uh, unable to pick up a weapon. Nice little Stomp Sider coming out of Bagus. Will a knockout be due? It looks like not, but we'll have to see. One, two, three, four. Oh, misses the jump side air. We've had a knockout option. Our Cossacks right now using that Lance's range to their advantage. Bagus barely able to get back to that platform. Gets that little two piece, but Cossacks picking up that Lance still. And now trying to knock out Bagus. He's got to be careful with the lanes that Lance and Hammer has. You have to be very, very careful going against it. But right now, Bag is a phenomenal knockout on the Cossacks' second stock of making it one stock up. And Cossacks is going to take advantage of Bag is being very weak while trying to pick up a weapon with that Lance Nair. Those Lance Nairs have so much range and so much power. And we're seeing Magger's defense right there coming out of Bagus. The element of surprise definitely coming in a little bit for Bagus. Kostlik surprising us with that GC sidelight, but that recovery is going to be an extra bit of surprise. Yeah, coming from the bottom of the stage on however much defense Magyar. Yeah, I don't know how to how to, to I don't know how to believe that either, but Bagus, you can still see with a bit of an element of surprise. You can see all the times Kostlik is trying to read the way that Bagus is trying to recover. Bagus is never getting hit by these weapon throws. Kostlix is trying to throw a weapon high, throw a weapon, weapon low, and Bagus is just not really getting hit by them. Maybe that'll change as the match goes on, as how condensed these games are happening. Maybe that'll, you know, have enough substance for Kostlix to be able to download off of. But still, you can see all the times that Kostlix is trying to maybe read Bagus's movement, but it's not quite working out. The Kostlix's experience is definitely going to be able to give him that first game. Bagus holding his ground phenomenally, getting a very nice KO with the end sig. 
right now. This is exactly how the uh, the first game went, if not a little bit more in Bagus' favor right now. Bagus was on, I think, orange on that first game, and this happened much faster. This happened about five or ten seconds quicker, with Bagus taking less damage. So although Koslik still won the first game after how these are both starting the same way, Bagus still has uh, a much better lead right now really trying to get that extra credit in last time it wasn't enough for a whole missing assignment with that great sword string really about to bring him to a really good spot Koslex choosing to throw for hammer this hammer is going to do Koslex really great because he knows how to make full use of the sigs but Bagus is probably starting to work on a three to one lead right now good god and I gotta get props to Bagus because I have not seen Bagus do this well against Coslix before. And we don't see him a lot on stream. All right, this is definitely very powerful for Bagus to be landing this type of stuff. But the issue is they have to hold their stock now. That's what they need to do. And if, if they can do it, and Magger has so much damn defense, this could be a lot more easier to do so. And look at that. That should knock down with most different maps. There you go. Down signature coming in. Coslix is able to come back. But still, just to show the amount of power that magyar has and a lot of people haven't really haven't really entered the potential of it only to only a few different players have accessed it so we'll have to see how it goes we'll see if baggage can go ultra instinct but conflict Ooh. tries to go ultra instinct misses the final knockout option but led a phenomenal combo Earlier, it was Bagus with a 3-1 lead, but right now, Kostelix is in a very good spot to make this a 1-1, almost even game. There we go, Bagus finally starting to put an end to some of the momentum, being able to punish the recovery with a recovery of his own, and the weapon throws able to punish the Sig to try to recover. Bagus holding his ground, and we are going right into game three. After putting one on the board, Kostelix says, no, 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 not Demon Island again, and maybe it's... Maybe just a few platforms. We can see Miami Dome and Crystal Temple up there with just the two small platforms up there. But nah, uh, Bagus is opting for small Brawl Haven, which might as well just be the FEMA today, second to, to Frost and Ice. Right now, these walls, um, the walls of, of Brawl Haven, which I'm gonna admit, the walls of my room are probably wider than the walls of this map. This is gonna do Koslik's wonders for how well that he's able to just build up momentum with his lance. But Bagus is looking to just have a repeat of this, stomp another game, get that 2 1 on the board. Koslik's movement is adjusting very well in and out of this game. But Bagus is still not getting hit by that much. Not Koslik might be having a bit of a trouble with the download, but you might not need a download for that end sig, which is a very clear demonstration. Koslik is stepping up his game. Bagus is right now not in the spot that he was in the first two games, which might. It's hard to tell how that might be impacting them mentally. Yeah, absolutely, but I think this is definitely a motivator there for Bagus. I mean, they want to try to go ahead and win this. They did the wrong signature there to go and try out not, to try to knock out Koslix. You see, Koslix is really trying to use the advantage that they have and build up some damage against Bagus, but Bagus is able to read a lot what Koslix is throwing and get out of different points of those lance combos, but right now, I mean, Bagus is at that one stock disadvantage. Now they need to get the knockout options, and they may have to go for some type of gratitude to downlight or recovery or some type of hammer knockout. There we go. Back is knocking out Kostelik's second stock. Very nice job making his two stocks all. And now the damage buildup needs to happen from Bagus. And Kostelik's Lance is not helping out with that right now. That first game is a very strange, I guess, indicator for how the rest of the set might go because almost the whole game, Bagus was in a very good spot. Despite the fact that he lost, he was still in a very good spot if there's one rule that i've heard muttered a little bit about esports but not enough is that really no lead is safe and anything can really happen on screen so right now bagus despite the fact being in such a good spot in the first game it's looking like the this third game might end up the same way as the first one for the first two games Bagus had an amazing command over the stage, but no lead is safe. Bagus still had to fall down to that 0-1 after that. But right now, is also starting to pick up some speed, just like how Kostlix was able to pick up some speed, adjust his movement around. Bagus, just like AJ said, really needs this damage. Bagus is, other than the greatsword coming out, great for combos. Bagus coming so close to some of those combos, but Kostlix 
putting another one up on the board. This hammer from Bagus is really a bit more for chip damage or maybe even KOs, but that great sword is really where the damage comes out and where you really turn heads, lift eyebrows, and drop jaws. That great sword's really where he gets the the meat of the sandwich in. And so Costlix is probably gonna try to keep that in mind with the weapon rotation and make sure that Bagus stays unarmed, preferably. Weapon starving is a true combo, but unfortunately Bagus starting out with great sword. This is gonna work out fortunately for them is right now Costas having a bit of a hard time approaching a very nice combo going on to there and even another combo Bagus is really starting to reclaim the set and trying to go a little bit farther yeah absolutely and, and Bagus is holding themselves up very very well for this being the first round and that was a phenomenal knockout coming out of Bagus and I'm seeing so many things that I definitely did not expect to see come out of Bagus with their control, the great sword. Look at that, man! Knocking Cossacks <laughs> into the yellowish orange with that lovely combo. The only bad thing is with those combos, they don't build a lot of damage. Ooh. But that Brad gets a neutral signature was so well placed, and you don't see that a lot with great sword players because it's got oh so much recovery frames. But if you land it, it is absolutely phenomenal. And right now, you can see Costas go back to the ledge, tries to get him off edge. Oh, back into the dare, but lands recovery. Oh, Ooh. he gets grab pound there by Costalix. For a minute there, this game was looking exactly like the first two games with Bagus and a pretty good stock lead, but now Costalix is instantly, you know, trying to make sure that he's able to change fate, rewrite the book. This is his chapter right now. If Bagus in a very, very troubling spot, but still able to keep even. Bagus still looks so calm off the edge with that GC and Sig that came up from Bagus that not only did damage to Costlix, but also was able to give him a chase dodge and put him back up on stage. Bagus' command off stage, despite the fact that Costlix is still able to keep throwing them off, Bagus still seems comfortable as ever. Wherever you throw him, but Costlix chooses to throw him at the top of the screen, but still, this is a really close game. Bagus has a very good chance, especially with Hammer coming out, which could be pretty good for a KO option to fall right into his lap if he's just able to take it, which it might be taking a little bit of time to do, but there it is, Stomp Stare falls into his lap and he takes, um, takes great advantage of that opportunity is right now he's able to take the game somewhat even and there we go more great sword coming out there we go chooses to stick with great sword and still has more combos up his sleeve Bagus keeps on going the gift that keeps on giving there is no stopping this great sword right now but there's no stopping that sare either to quickly put a cap on the bottle yeah absolutely and congratulations there to Cossex on winning that set three in one congratulations and that shows the amount of adaptability and the amount of force that Costix has with that lance and with that hammer so congratulations there to Costix they will be advancing into the winners semi-finals here so with that being said let's go back over here real quick and let's go ahead and get our final set up on stream now just a heads up before anyone um before we get into our final set before our break we are going to have a break after this set just make sure it's out there 